Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode number 20 of News Report, subtitled The New Delhi Gang Rape in honor of the uh, poor girl that was killed in the horrible, horrible crimes committed in the country of India. We'll talk about it later on. On that downer, though, Josh, how are you feeling today, my friend? I am very tired, but pretty excited because we're going to switch it up this week. That is exactly right, good buddy. I probably should have plopped a little League of Legends logo down th- down there, but you're right. We're going to play League of Legends this week um, for really no rhyme or reason. Josh and I got tired of Han, and we were playing a little <laughs> bit of League. I-, I come home from work, and he's just like, hey, you want to play League? You want to play League? You want to play League? I'm- I've am i been grinding. I caught up to you in levels. He's been practicing. So um, uh, do we even have a lane combo set up, Josh? Have we talked any strategy or what, you what are you playing? You can go carry, and I'll go. Huh? I'll play. I- I'm going to try to play Lee Sin. We'll see how it goes. Okay, you're not gonna you're not gonna jungle Lee Sin or jungle Oh, uh, I could, I could, but if you want to go in the same lane, I can play support Lee Sin. All right, we'll think about it. We'll think. We'll about own it. together. Yeah, we'll see what our team does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Lee, the people are so friendly, and I, I get I get commended. It makes me feel good. <laughs> I get commended, but I try hard. I always say, "Good luck, have fun." Remember, it's all about fun, guys. Because <laughs> I'm just trying to grind honor. But you, you just sit there like a rock. You don't even talk. Sometimes the team yells at you, and they still commend you afterwards. I've been helping my team, though. I've been oh, playing okay. more. I've been getting a lot of teamwork, apparently. I've been commending other people, too, AC. So are you saying that Riot's system of commending has actually motivated you to be a more team-friendly player? Because I know in Han, your style is instantly mute the whole team and sit in the jungle until you kind of feel like doing something. Yeah, well, people in Han seem more angry. And the game's usually swayed mm-hmm. one way or the other by a huge amount. And this seems pretty close. I don't know. League of Legends has one of those unique gameplays where, like, I've won a couple games. We've been down, like, 20 kills. And you win by just pushing a lane. Mm -hmm. Like, having four people fight five and having one person off in the side lane pushing. Mm -hmm. So it's got this really interesting aspect of uh, how to win a game since you can't buy back. That's true. That is true. The lack of buyback can be frustrating yet satisfying when you win a game when a team... Uh, it does set up a lot of situations for teams to throw really big leads. Um, so that's, that, that's a good point. Um, but I'm excited to be playing League. You know, I, I never really get mad at League. You know, when we lose Hansville, I'm just going to like, I just want to go mm, break something. <laughs> I've never felt like that with League. I just Eventually I play too much and I'm like, all right, dude, i got to stop. I'm getting, I'm getting sleepy. You know, I never, I never leave the game just ready to break some glass. Ready to break some glass. Break some glass. So, Josh, before we queue up here, because we're probably going to get an instant queue, uh, which is nice, let's talk about the stock market. Did anything big happen this week? Um, before I oh pitch it God. to you, though, I, w- I just want to note, we've got Dow Jones up at uh, 3,400. Uh, wow, that's not so bad, but the NASDAQ is in the dumper. What's going on, Joshy? Um, big things have been happening everywhere in the market. The NASDAQ is above 3K. I mean... The S&P 500 is almost near record, like, five-year highs, which is pretty crazy. They resolved the fiscal cliff, which was, like, the big issue in the stock market. People didn't know where it was going. Mm -hmm. But after, it appeared like, even the day before the end of the year and the first day of trading of the year, the stock just went crazy. And everything has been going crazy up right now. We may reach all-time highs in the uh, S&P 500 so, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty crazy time. Everything's up. Zynga was up. Zynga was up like ten percent yesterday. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nine point thirteen. That is insane. It's still really, really bad. Of course, to reiterate, guys, still got that Zynga stock, Josh. You still have yours, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. How, how many shares? Hold on. Is it? It's, it's going to pop. It's going to pop. One of these days, it's going to pop. I, I don't know about yours, man. What, what's your average share price? Like eight bucks or something? Uh, I have no clue. I bought some more at three dollars. So oh, 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 to offset the uh, the losses. I thought about that. Maybe I think yeah. And Maybe. then they released the corporate report and tanked to like two forty. Yeah, yeah. I saw that Zynga let go of a whole bunch of people. Uh, Zynga shut down, I think, ten or eleven of their games, which is a pretty big deal. Um, I, I saw like an article where people were talking about they're really upset because you know this, those stupid games. I don't know if you've ever actually played Farmville, but it, it's just a grind. It's like World of Warcraft without the actual button mashing. Mm-hmm. So when you buy stuff and put money into it, people get really mad when your character just disappears. They're like, well, "What happened to my farm? It's just gone." And then they realize how stupid those little games are. So it really, 
I don't know, man. That doesn't bode well for the Zynga brand. Some people are really upset. Some people send in emails like, my kid's been crying nonstop since you turned off Fishville. Why would you kill her fish? I don't know how to explain this to her. Like Fishville. Oh, yeah, man. dude, there are so... Petville, that's a big one. I think... Uh, we can I know just, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. The ones they shut down sounded really bad, though. It was like Bass Fishinville and like... <laughs> <laughs> shit like that. I mean, it was terrible. I mean, they didn't sound Aww. like fun games, but I mean, Zynga's huge. Every one of their games has, you know, we look, they look at those games as like, oh, you know, yeah, they're not bringing in enough money, but they still have hundreds of thousands of players. They're still way more popular than Heroes of New Earth, you know? Mm-hmm. So, it's, it's kind of crazy to think, just... I can relate as a gamer. I couldn't even imagine if, even now, and I don't even play World of Warcraft. If I tried to log on and my character was gone, I'd be like, what? Where'd it go? What? I... That's, that's yeah, like... but I don't know. That's kind of normal. I think they did it with like the old Halo servers. Eventually, got shut down. Mm-hmm. It's like so there's these old games that have been played for forever and just get shut down. Mm, yeah, that's... because of uh, uh, just dies out. Yeah, I saw the only thing that uh, ended down on Friday here is Apple down about three percent. Yeah, Apple drags down the Nasdaq by a lot, but there are a bunch of stocks down, but there were and godly more stocks up and by a decent amount. Mm-hmm. So. Well, it looks like we're going to go to all-time highs. That's if good I news, Josh. So is this a good time to buy? Should I should I throw some coins into the old uh, Scott trade? No, it's kind of tricky, actually, I would say. Like, right. um, because if it reaches all-time highs, I'm not sure how high it would go. Because I don't, you have to look at a lot of charts and everything based on that. I mean, it'd be good, but you wouldn't want to hold on all into them for like a year or two years or three years you probably want to put in all this stuff to mi- try to make money so okay well on that note josh let's play some <laughs> league of legends um let's start it up we'll see what our team's doing i'm pumped i haven't been this excited to play league of legends in a long time josh i'm i'm really pumped up here i hope we win me too it's all riding on the victory so let's get right into it. We actually have a fair bit of news today, uh, and I think we're going to start with the big kahuna, if you will. They finally breached Absolute Zero. Josh, I know you read up. You're an expert. <laughs> I tried to read it. I read it at least twice, and I'm still trying to understand it in the article, even though they probably put it in the simplest terms that scientists can actually put it in <laughs> to make it make sense to a normal person. But uh, but yeah, they reached uh, below absolute zero in a quantum gas, and oh my god, do, should I even try to explain this? Because it could get complicated. I mean, <laughs> that's sort of why I was wondering if you could do it, because I sort of like, I mean, I think the big question about this is, why is it a big deal? I think that's really what a lot of people would look at that and, and wonder to themselves. Yeah, I can give you, I can give you like the things that came out of this, like the ideas that came out of this. Because what, apparently, when quantum gases go below absolute zero, to battle, they defy gravity and they push stuff away. And scientists, uh, apparently, this is a correlation to what dark energy and dark matter does. Mm-hmm. So they think it's pretty uh, interesting that both dark matter and stuff below absolute zero behave the same way. So they think there may be some linkage between that. And the actual explanation of how they went below absolute zero is pretty crazy, basically. So we should link the article so people can read it and have a shot <laughs> it because oh, man. because it's pretty well explained. But it gets I don't know. It's kind of I don't think I could explain it that well. You could probably just read it and do a better job. Okay, here you go. Um, there it is. I think that's actually the first time we've ever done that, Josh. <laughs> so, like, you know what? Here's a cool article. Go read it, you bastards. Yeah, just get to it. Um, I mean, yeah. The main point. The main point is that it may lead to why the universe is the universe is expanding instead of contracting overall. Since right now, that's the big mystery. Since matter should be coalescing to each other because of the forces of gravity. Mm-hmm. And it's also interesting because it, it's just a milestone. There was a long period of time where, you know, it was thought that that was impossible to um, breach absolute zero. You know, it's one of those just finite limits of our of our universe, and that's obviously not the case. So that's just a cool, like, wow, you know, question your truths, man, that kind of... I like that stuff, Josh. It speaks to me. Um, so a, a nice bit of science trivia. You know, and I find a lot of the science articles that come up on my newsfeed are similar to that. They're really not like... 
they tell you battle. things, but nothing that you go, wow, that's really impacts me. There's like, oh, we found 15,000 other potential Class M planets. Like, all right. Yeah, and how they do it is even more complex. Like, how they find those planets and they search for everything nowadays. They're searching for stuff using, like, x-rays and all, because search for the entire spectrum of light, basically. Mm -hmm. Entire spectrum, wavelength spectrum. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so it's pretty complex on how these, like, telescopes and everything actually work and how most of them that see stuff can't even be in uh they have to be in the uh, space and everything to see yeah so so what are we, yeah, so we got a game well um so yeah i'm, I'm not just pick Siver, man um Go right, for I, already, I already picked Siver. i already locked in so we can lane i can farm i can carry but, oh i should have picked janna she's so much fun i like the tornado Oh. So, all right, let, let's move along because th this next piece is actually something that I did a surprising amount of research on. I, I got really intrigued when uh, things were slow at work and I had nothing better to do. Um, there are some high-powered individuals, particularly uh, a Google executive that has a trip planned to visit North Korea, which is really weird. Uh, of course, North Korea is kind of a totalitarian, totalitarian, I think that's the right word, Society, um, they're kind of the only communist country left, so to speak. Their country's in famine. If you're in it, you can't leave, and if you're not in it, you probably can't get in. So it's kind of strange. It's not really a place where a company like Google would want to do business, presumably. Um, what the fuck, man? Josh? Yeah. Oh, he's lagging hard. All right, here we go. Uh oh, technical difficulties. We lost our buddy. Hello. Oh, hey, Josh. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. You sound a little bit like a robot, but you sound pretty good. I remembered one thing League does is on booting up, it kills my internet. But it's good once you're for, in. For a brief second, and it's lagging right now, so this is not good. Uh -oh. I thought I fixed this problem. Uh oh. Uh oh. It says Synex not connected. You're probably going to be DC'd. <sighs> this happened before, and I thought I fixed the issue. I'm doing a bunch of stuff to my internets. Well, it looks like it was a good try, buddy. I know. You. Let me see if I can come in. It's probably going to DC me again. Uh, I thought I'd fix this. Since I played like, like like six games the other day and it didn't happen, but like two days ago it was happening like every single game. Hmm. So let me see. I'm going to try to reconnect now. We're still stuck in the load screen. I may ha Okay. All right. Check one, two. Yes, yes. Well, hopefully I can get in. Yeah, I'm loading now. Okay, good. I, I there we go. you loud and clear, so we're in pretty good shape. Oh, God, my scroll speed's kind of fast. I haven't played League on this computer in a really long time. Um, so, anyway, uh, I don't know how much you heard of my little spiel there, Joshi, but uh, talking about the trip to North Korea via the um, Google executives, and I think there were a couple other sort of high-powered people as well, and I don't remember... Um, who the others are, but the big one is the Google executive, and the question is why? Is that a place where they're really going to want to do business? Um, I don't know. What's going on, man? To me, Google's always taking like the high road and everything. Like when uh, they shut down the internet in Syria, Google made like an official announcement and everything, saying this shouldn't happen, and they've been all for like be able. To, everyone should be able to use the internet and in however which way they want to. Mm -hmm. Your bottom. I went top. Oh shit. You got Teemo with you. I don't really want to land with Teemo. What a Aww. So what am I doing? I can't jungle. I didn't get my jungle thing. I don't so know. I guess I'm going carry. Okay, whatever. Teemo but, uh, lane, I like it. Yeah, that's kind of... You probably should have gone bottom. I guess it would make more sense to have this other person support you but it'll work out we'll make it work out mm -hmm. so uh you're definitely right about google with the whole syria thing that's actually a really good example but i 
when I was at work, I started reading about North Korea. I was like, oh, what's going on? The Wikipedia page, I was sort of expecting it to be a little more like oh, all the bad stuff happening in North Korea. And it, you know, it's it's actually kind of, quote, fair and balanced in, the, in this sense of they sort of just treat it like it's any other country. Um, and, and it was sort of interesting. Basically, North Korea just denies that their country has any problems. So yep. they have this, uh, I, I saw a picture of this really, really nice hotel they have, that uh, triangle-shaped pyramid one. Um, and it, it looks really ridiculous. I, I should have found a picture of it. Um, and I think that's where these people are presumably going to be staying. It's kind of strange, though. I would be nervous to just go to North Korea in terms of, like, are you are you going to make it out if you go in? Are they going to kidnap you? I mean, it's pretty Me shady. Me too. Area. Me too. So, I don't know. It's a pretty unique situation. We'll see what comes out of it since... I don't know what the plans are at the moment to uh, yeah. try to achieve anything. There wasn't much info released about it. It was just sort of more... The article was that I read, at least, was basically just saying, wow, this is really weird. We have really rich, powerful people going to a really dangerous place on our planet. I wonder what's going on with that. Well, yep. Timo, no. You're too brave. Oh, he's too brave. <laughs> too brave, little Timo. <laughs> oh, Timo. Oh, and I got the red buff now. Sweet. Because I killed, uh, Dr. Mundo. Oh, nice. So, uh, yeah, but the article didn't really say much in terms... It was mostly just, uh, kind of theory crafting as to what could possibly come of this, not really, um, what is. Mm -hmm. Still interesting, though. Like I said, I, I would be really scared to go there at the risk of, like, not coming back. I mean, I'll go to Me South too. Korea, but... <sighs> Oh, I almost died. I'm fighting. Uh -oh. I got that guy that has the hook. I still don't know anyone's name in this game, despite the fact that I played a lot of games. What's crank? Uh, I'm gonna call him Pudge. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you can call him whatever you want, buddy. There is, there's no shame in, in calling him Pudge. It's what do you call uh, Twisted Fate Gambit? <laughs> Gambit, yeah, <laughs> dude. He throws cards everywhere. <laughs> <Like> Gambit. <laughs> Gambit, the card thrower. Um. So, yeah, again, I guess not the most talkative news piece, but it's interesting nonetheless. It could be groundbreaking because, uh, you know, Google has been known to do, uh, you know, kind of be a first mover and take a lot of risks. This uh, Google, Fi uh, was it Google Fiber thing is a good example yeah. of um, putting in a lot of money without very much in the way of guaranteed returns. So we'll see. It'd be interesting if Google becomes a provider for North Korea. And, I mean, with North Korea, from their perspective, they... I mean, Google's so big, it kind of has to get their attention, you know? Mm-hmm. From what I understand, they don't really have internet there, too, or anything yet. That, At least, yeah. very limited amount. Yeah, it's it's very... Well, yeah, normal people don't have access to it, and if you do have access to it, it's really tightly regulated with what you can access and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, it's but by no means ideal. Um, but in any case, Josh, let's go ahead and move on. This next piece, you're going to have to take the lead because um, we don't have O'Reilly no more. We've got a Boehner. Um, what's going on with... What, he's the Speaker of the House. Yes. Yeah, he was re-elected this... Uh, uh, what was it? Two days ago, I think? Yep. But, uh, but yeah, he's been re-elected this Speaker, which is kind of interesting because a lot of... It was up in the air on whether it would happen or not. Mm-hmm. Be, uh, because of how he handled uh, mainly the fiscal cliff, since it was kind of unfavored by the GOP in general. Mm -hmm. uh, the Senate passed at the last second before the year ended. And <laughs> literally the last second. Yeah, literally the last second. It may have, it felt like it went in the day when we got the news, but apparently they passed at the last second. Yeah, dude. A and, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, um,. Before I went to the, that New Year's party I was talking about earlier, uh, I met up with two of my friends and we picked up uh, his girlfriend. We got to her house and it was like, I don't know, 8 o'clock on New Year's. They're like, hey, we're going to go over to the neighbors. You want to come with us? She was like, yeah, sure. I'm just watching the fiscal cliff and drinking a Heineken. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> and she was like, but we reached a deal. I was like, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock on New Year's. They've literally got like <laughs> three, three hours to go. And they're like, all right, we reached a deal. It's looking good. Yep. That's basically how it went down, and well, it was the Senate reached a deal, and it kind of only resolved half of it. It's kind of weird. They they basically resolved the tax issues. They haven't touched the spending cuts on wh where they're going to be and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of half resolved, 
And yeah, spending cuts are going to be a big issue. They basically delayed the spending cuts for another uh, two months. That's what they did. They somehow pulled, uh, put it off. Right. Yeah. So it, it isn't really a, a huge solution. I mean, they, they did do something, but yeah, it's definitely not ideal. That's what my my mom was all upset. She was just like, I can't believe Obama's praising them. They barely did anything. She's she really likes Warren Buffett. I don't know uh, if you saw that thing that he posted a while ago. That was oh yeah. Like I could end the crisis right now if, if you know he had all these things he wanted senators to be accountable for. My mom's like, you go, Warren. Like, following, like, this 90-year-old dude that can barely walk. Um, <laughs> it's just kind of funny to think about. Like, Warren Buffett leading a movement. Like, this little kid, bring him out. Everyone's like, oh, my God, Warren. Warren. <laughs> Warren. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, but some other stuff happened with Boehner as well. Uh, what is this nonsense about him crying like a baby? Oh, he cried during his re-election speech. And oh. then, I don't, he had a bunch of news. Was he because, moved by like, the flag? Yeah, he was probably moved by the flag again. <laughs> so why did he cry though? I don't know. Was it because he's so happy? He's it's just like oh, it's overwhelming. Like it's so amazing. Yeah. I, I guess so. He gets pretty emotional about the U.S. Apparently, oh, this is not the first time he he's cried. <laughs> he's, he's, he's been cried the first before. time he's cried. Yeah, this has happened before. I forget on what occasion it was, but he has done this before. All right. Well, that's. Um... Good to know. I, I'm not a big Boehner. I, I don't know much about him. I, I didn't really... I knew Nancy Pelosi was the Speaker of the House, and that was the last time I, I remotely cared about the House. And, I, you know, I hadn't even really heard of Boehner before this uh, whole fiscal cliff ordeal. Oh, he's been, like, the big impasse. And uh, since he basically deals with Congress, he's been, like, the big person that Obama basically has to deal with. Oh, yeah. Uh, and so, negotiate with in Obama order to get a deal. Like not really. I don't think anyone likes Congress right now, though. Oh, that's a good point. That's a fair point, Josh. <laughs> Are we going to get a kill? Was his crying like one of those kind of efforts where it seems almost fake? Like, come on, man. Or or were, other, were like people in the audience tearing up with him? Just like, oh, Boehner, I, I appreciate <laughs> your dedication to our country so much. <laughs> Probably. You're I don't know. I, I've seen him talk before and give speeches and I don't know I don't like it you're not into it yeah who, hold who, on. Do you, who do you like more Boehner or O'Reilly don't live oh Boehner who do I like more yeah or oh, I mean, shit. whatever just, just you can just compare them I mean. oh man who do I uh, yeah probably be who do I dislike more oh, I shouldn't have turned I thought I could do more damage who do I dislike more yeah and that's and that's hard. I don't like them both. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, at least shit. O'Reilly makes me laugh. Boehner's never really made me laugh. <laughs> it's kind of weird that uh, I don't know if it's actual skin color, but Boehner is like always tan. Well, he may just get a tan. That's a thing, man. I know, I know. I'm wondering though if that's what he does. Why would would that make you like him more if he did? No, that make me like him less. YOLO, man. <laughs> YOLO? YOLO. Y -y -y that's, that's something that should have died with uh, 2012. With okay. 2012? I think YOLO's still there, but... Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. It needs to go. It's slowing down. Well, I, I like this uh, next topic here, Josh, because it's, it's, a, it's a problem very close to my heart. Uh, and, and as you titled it here in our spreadsheet, Higher Education the next bubble to burst and I just feel like that's such, that was such an epic title for something as meaningless as the spreadsheet that only you and I see um, the next bubble to burst it's very nice what's going on with uh, college tuition these days Joshy it's just been going up and up and up and there seems uh, seems to be no like stopping the increasing rise of college tuition mm -hmm. and I don't know a lot of people think it's going to be the next budget to burst since people are defaulting on their student loans and someone has to pay for it. Yep, that and is certainly right. It's kind of interesting on, I don't know, there are a bunch of takes on how to possibly solve this because basically right now you can get, anyone can get a loan and you can get a loan Basically, when you apply for a loan, since you don't have any like credit history as a like college freshman, mm -hmm. you basically need your parents to help you 
co-sign the loan. You can only have like I think like twenty six thousand. Oh no! Almost like I had to say my friend. You can only have like twenty six thousand dollars in lo student loans, and that is not nearly enough to cover what you need nowadays. Yeah, that's like one but, year at a lot of schools. I know that's like one year at most most northeastern, even like in state and everything has gone up by a decent amount. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's definitely true. You know, I, I always knew. People have always told me, "Well, yeah, college tuition always goes up more than inflation." I'm like, "Okay." So relatively to everything else, college gets more expensive faster. Won't there eventually become a point where college will just be un absurdly expensive? And I guess this is kind of that point that uh, I've been thinking of. It's kind of scary to think about. And also, uh, the, the other angle as well is college degrees are becoming a little bit more a dime a dozen these days. They're not what they used to be. In our, when our parents' day and age, a college degree was a really big deal. Now, uh, it's almost expected. So there's this catch-22 of more people are expected to go to college, but it's sort of so expensive that they can't. So where, do, where does that leave college? It's kind of a weird conundrum. Mm hmm It definitely is a pretty unique... Oh... On. Through my I'm, I'm going to die. Oh shit! <sighs> bastards. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a unique and very touchy situation. Mm -hmm. Since one of the solutions is basically don't give people loans anymore if they can't repay them, and basically that just says your kids can't go to college anymore. Yeah. And that's never popular with anyone. That's never popular <laughs> with anyone. Well, that's that's absolutely true. Um. But that's basically what you have to do. Or put in, like, basically regulate the colleges on how much they can increase tuition each year. Really, what I think needs to be done is they just need to subsidize college. That, that, to me, that's the easiest choice. I mean, I don't have a lot of money, but my, my age-old argument, take half a percent out of your uh, um, budget for making tanks and cannons and, um, oh, God, blitz, get out of here. Um, and I'll put that towards college, and uh, there you go. There's your subsidi uh, subsidiary right there. Sub no, su subsidized cash, whatever the word I'm looking for is. Mm -hmm. The thing is that college is going up because, like, people just keep on giving loans, though. So it's kind of like supply and demand. Yeah, like, well, that's true. We're just yeah. supplying the colleges. There's basically nothing that's stopping them from increasing mm -hmm. uh, tuition. Because, yeah, we just keep handing loans to everyone mm -hmm. since uh, when everyone to go to college. So it is very, and yeah, I think what college, the college loans surpass like a credit card debt or whatever. I thought there were one of those interesting statistics. Uh, statistics, yeah, statistics. Of what? What is it? Of that if you have credit a lot card. of college debt, you have a lot of credit card debt? No, it surpassed like the total amount. Oh, oh yeah, that is a crazy statistic because Americans love their credit card debt. Mm -hmm. And it's actually going down. Credit card is actually going down apparently. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's finally the sort of people are, have. There's been enough education that people are finally waking up to how much of a scam it is to put like you know ten thousand dollars on a credit card then pay off the interest. Like, it's it's pretty easy to show somebody how they're spending way more money on a five dollar sweater than they have to if they take ten years to pay it off at like twenty percent interest. So I, I don't know. I, I feel like that debt is a little bit. Um, less acceptable now compared to college debt. So I, I can see that. I mean, student loans are a pretty uh, pretty normal thing these days. And I know, didn't Obama do something uh, right after he got elected in terms of um, of making college more ex uh, accessible? It wasn't that big thing with, like, stay-at-home moms. Like, oh, yeah, now mom can go back to college, get that degree she never, she never got. They did a bunch of stuff to try to reduce the interest rates on um, student loans, and you can consolidate them. Since usually, usually you take out student loans from the uh, you get a federal student loan, but you also have student loans from banks, mm -hmm. and they're two separate loans. They do them in a really weird way. They put in ways to consolidate them, so they're just through the federal government, and they reduce the interest rates on them. Mm -hmm. Is basically what he is basically the thing he threw in like uh, I think like a year and a half ago or something like that. Sorry, I'm getting getting destroyed. No, oh, there's a bunch of action in this game. I understand. We just got like four oh, ganked at the bottom. Oh, no. I don't know how they got to you that fast. Oh god, yeah, I just walked into him. He went the other way. Damn it. I was juking pretty well, but I I just guessed the wrong path. 
Yeah, dude, Dr. Mundo. It's no good. Dr. Mundo. Between Dr. Mundo and Pudge, it's, uh, it's pretty nasty. Yeah, pub training is hard. Um, so yeah, it, it's scary, man. I, I, I'm so glad I'm, I'm out of college debt right now. I, I have some friends that just, my, my ex-girlfriend, that girl Daniela, man, she just got a job uh, designing for uh, Abercrombie and Fitch, but man, she has a lot of debt to pay off. That is just stress that I'm glad I don't have to deal with right now. Yeah. I, I've got enough stress in my life. Imagine if you were a doctor or like oh, lawyer God. or something like that. It's yeah. like really, really bad. Yeah, so. I've I've heard. I don't. I, I feel like you and I have talked about this before, but um, the the idea of uh, law school is really the worst investment you can make right now uh, in terms of ROI. Because uh, I think there wasn't there a class action suit against a couple of the law schools for uh, like misleading advertising, where they made it sound like that you know after you get a law degree you'll be able to make a lot of money, when in reality you'll end up being like. A paralegal where you can do that job like without a degree because being a lawyer is not really that easy in this economy and it's kind of a saturated market yeah I saw something about that um, and yeah it's getting I don't know it's getting harder and harder especially with the unemployment rate mm -hmm. uh, at what it is oh shit I'm coming down we might be able to fight this I'm on my way I'm close bring him up oh no Jana try to bait him yeah, this blitz is happy, man. Give it to him. Oh, um, I'm low. Do we get him? Nice, you got him. Yeah, my ult makes you run fast. Oh god, their whole team is here. Oh, oh no! I just healed. Holy crap! This is hardcore pub train. Oh my god. I was not expecting all of them to come down. Choo choo! I guess pump training is popular in every MOBA now, huh? This this is kind of interesting though, because if they do that, we can actually push another lane. And I've won games. Like I said, I've won a game that we were down. We were down 30 kills. It was 60 to 30, and we still won. So yeah, it's pretty interesting on how these games can turn out. We are by no That's means true. out of the running since we have towers down. The name yeah. of the game is Towers, and That's I don't true. know. I was very anti-Tower and Han. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, and one of the guys in chat who lives in Finland was saying how nice it is to be um, uh, living in Finland because school is free. And I think in all the Scandinavian countries, college is, is, is just free for whatever, if you want to be a doctor. Uh, and that, that's kind of interesting because I've heard people use that argument for why we should have socialized healthcare or a more socialized form of healthcare, uh, because you know, they say, look at all these other, you know, um, whatever the right word is, first world countries that do it so successfully. You know, we need to get with the times. I mean, if you use that argument, you could make a pretty good case for college and the associated tuition rates as well. Yeah, it's definitely something that I don't know. You have to look at the European countries and see how, like literally small they are compared to the US. Yeah. It's very hard to do it on um, yeah, the scale of the US basically. It's become the issue. Because mm -hmm. if, you, if you look at states, uh, like compared to like some European countries, like some of them are bigger. Mm -hmm. And if you look at our states individually, like there's some states doing really well as far as like unemployment and how they balance their budget and everything. And there are other states that are just doing awful. Yeah, we can, and we, so, we can fight this. Is it? I feel like there would be a lot of them. Okay, we can fight it. I'm going in. I'm oh, doing shit. damage. Do we kill anything? Oh! Did we, did we kill anything? This guy came behind and started oh, yeah. killing we, me. We just did a one for three, man. We kicked some ass and they're about to kill Mundo. Oh. Kill Mundo and save the other person. Oh, he heals too fast. Look at that shit. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Come back! Save the person! Oh, oh no! Oh no! I'm Better running! I'm running! I'm out! I don't have shit. I'm trying, Jenna. I'm trying. I don't have shit though. I can't slow him down. Oh no! I might be dead now. Oh no! That just went from really good to really bad then. Oh no! Oh, I didn't juke it. Oh wait, we have a tower here. Yep. Oh shit! I might be able to do it. Do it! Do it! I'm coming! I'm trying to juke the cleavers. Oh, big jukes. Uh-oh, Josh. This is looking bad. 
so far away. No. Oh my god, I'm not gonna get there. Yeah, I should have just ran. We hung around way too long. Jana's Jana's upset with us, man. Oh, electric tongue. Oh. Uh, Shan, they're all coming. I'm not going in there. So that is a really good point, though, and that's something that um, always seems to get forgotten when uh, there are comparables between Europe and America. Is basically our states are their countries. The EU is to the U.S. as individual countries are to our individual states, and that's that's a good thing to point out. Some of our states are doing really well. Some of them are doing really poorly, um, and that's just kind of the way of it. On on a grand scheme, we just simply don't have enough money for free college for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always interesting to look at. Uh, state budget, at least I find interesting, that some states, like, the tax rate varies so much. Like in Delaware, there's, like, no sales tax, and they don't really need it since they get everything from income, and I think, um, basically corporate will do everything, but you can't do that in New Jersey because the budget is just so much bigger. Mm -hmm. the budget is, like, literally billions of dollars bigger than Delaware. Yeah. And they're right next to each other. And one has no sales tax, and the other one uh, has like 7%. So. Yeah. I mean, you also have to look at stuff with tolls and bridges. New Jersey has a lot more bridges that are widely used, especially that whole connection up to New York. That's a huge profit center for New Jersey. Yeah. And, I mean, there's the Delaware Memorial Bridge, but, you know, like you were saying, Delaware has other revenue streams with their... Um... Oh, shit, we're going to be in oh, trouble. God, I'm coming. Don't, don't, we probably shouldn't come. We don't want you to die. At least I don't want you to die. You're a carry. I can falcon punch these guys. Right, if they falcon fight in the punch. tower, if they fight, we have a tower here. I know. I can I can pop my ult and we'll all go crazy on them. We'll go cray. What are they doing in the middle? Are they going to kill this guy? Oh, our Teemo. We need our Teemo. A little Teemo. Here, carries. He's so brave. He's so noble. <laughs> he was so little. Oh, watch out, Josh. Are we gonna give it to him? I'm giving you the shit. Oh shit, I didn't think there were four of them in there. Oh uh, yeah. Probably. I was only prepared for two. <laughs> yeah, they're... Mm, shit, they're just training us. I know. No good. I'm about to go, I'm about to go tank. Yeah. I have a tank actually. I should have gone tank. But the other way to look at college in America though is once you get your degree, it's a damn good investment because now our degrees are uh, worth more money than what we paid for them. If you were uh, to buy them right now. Eh? Think buy them right now? Think about those. If you were to buy our degrees right now, you'd have to pay more money relative to inflation than we did. So that means that we got a better deal. Like our our, our return on our investment or whatever is... is uh... it's, yeah, assuming they'll keep on... Assume, assuming they keep on going up, which I don't know. It seems like it's going to be something they deal with mm -hmm. sooner rather than later since... This is not the first time where people have talked about students' loans being the next uh, bubble to burst. And, I don't know, it's a very unique situation since the government, act, most of student loans, I think like something like 80% of them are federal because banks actually won't take that many loans out because they're too, there's too much risk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um... It used to be even easier. Like I know my mom was saying when she was uh, when she graduated vet school, there was like a grace period of time where you didn't have to start paying back your debt. It was like, yeah, it's it's they still have it. It's yeah. like six months or something like that. Well, the, for one of the doctors that she hired, uh, they they didn't. They had like I mean they did, but it was a lot shorter. I think my mom's was like six or eight months, and this girl's was like two months or something. And I was just like, geez, like that's I don't know. It's just a lot different. Like I, I again, she my mom was saying that. Like, 80% of her graduating class had a job before graduation, like, already lined up, so when they graduated, they were good to go. Um, oh my god. And now, it's the opposite. People are just, like, begging for jobs, they'll work for free because there's, there's just so much less. So, again, that goes back to college degrees being more valuable back in the day, and now it's just kind of the standard. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we definitely have to push this. I'm not sure if we can win a head-on game since they just have oh, tanks. Well, team, oh, we have no. No, yeah, we have no tanks, which is a big issue. And they have three or two. Yeah. Oh, little Teemo, though. We got punched in the face. Oh, Teemo. Wait, are you mid still? Yeah. As long as she's fine, tell me when you don't see one anymore, uh. and I'll know they're coming to stop me. I'm gonna to try to push top since uh, we're pushing it pretty decent already. Yeah, go for it. Uh, still, I see four. Now there's five. You're you're good. We're about to lose okay. the tower though. 
Okay, they, we, they might lose this tower. They're still pushing, it looks like. Oh, oh, oh no, he hooked me! Oh, I was hitting the wrong hotkey to, to go. Yeah, they're all still here, though. You can push it. They're all pretty low, actually. So even if they port back, they won't be able to stop you right away. Okay. Damn, this is but, turning into an intense theory crafting game. You gotta. Are they really all still there? I see two. I see three. I see four. Yeah, there's four here. Okay. Still going. Keep going. We're winning, actually. Uh, got, Garen's about to die. Just you keep got going. divide and conquer. I found that's a pretty useful strat until this guy comes up and Dude, ruins my day. Ari likes you, man. Ari thinks you're the shit. Oh shit. Maybe I'll get commended. Yeah. Here, I'll say some nice words too. I want to get commended. Oh, I got him! Nice. Peace. An enemy has been slain. Damn, we just turned this game around. No thanks to me, I guess. I just got <laughs> killed at the tower. I didn't think he was gonna be able to hook me, and I was trying to flash, and I was hitting the wrong hotkey. Dude, yeah. Between all their like things, they're eventually gonna hit you. Between Blitzkrieg and uh, Butcher, dude. Mundo. Yo, you can keep pressuring up there. There's still two. I games. am. Yeah, I totally am. I'm here now too. I'm gonna go because Garen is pretty nasty. I'm coming down to you, the guys though. No, no. Oh, I missed him. Beautiful. No, no, come save me. <laughs> You guys weren't even looking at it. No, Teemo's gonna die. Oh, well, Teemo, what are you just thinking? Back, just back, just back. Don't die. I don't want you to die. You gotta live. Yeah. Teemo can die. Cause Teemo's he's, dead. He's... he's... Yeah, <laughs> he's oh, a little a... Teemo. Little Teemo was like setting a trap. Uh, he's like, I'm gonna run up to their face and put the mushroom right in front of them. <laughs> and maybe it'll slow them down so you guys can get away. His plan worked. I mean, we made yeah. it out, so I'm not gonna... Yeah, he said the trap, but he was the bait. Yeah. But... <laughs> oh, man. So, wow. wow, Josh, college is ouchy. Um, let's go ahead and uh, talk about what do we have next here? Oh, the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission. Uh, they just ended a nine month pursuit against Google to determine whether they were violating antitrust laws based on putting their own content ahead of their competitors in searches. And that was considered, uh, well, considered to have potential for uh, antitrust problems. Uh, because I don't know why. It seems a little bit ridiculous to me. It's their search engine, but what what have you? Uh, what's it's your take? Because, have you heard about this? It, it's because they have so many different companies. Like the big issue, like when they bought out, oh shit, what, Yelp, Yelp. Um, yeah, when they bought it out, uh, they do reviews and everything. There were uh, things where they were putting their review, or maybe they didn't buy out Yelp. Oh, God. Oh God. But basically, they were putting. There was arguments that they were putting their like Google reviews instead of Yelp's, uh -huh. and that was causing them to lose site traffic and everything. Uh -huh. And Google does a lot of stuff. They bought out. Um, they bought out a, a traveling site um, to make flights and everything, basically for the data Keep that pushing. they provide and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's basically just because Google owns so many different companies, they have the potential to abuse um, their power because of how many. Okay. Yeah, all the all, basically all the businesses they do, they can basically just put the, the businesses right. they own in They're those categories ahead of. Um, okay, well I'm going well, to. Blitz has made crank uh, and uh, Tristana's bottom, so you're. Yeah, you see him. Um, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Um, so. It's over though. They determined that Google is not in violation of uh, antitrust. And uh, there was a public statement made by Microsoft that was actually kind of snotty. And they were saying that um, it, it, this isn't fair and that Microsoft was held to a much higher standard when they were uh, being scrutinized by the FTC. And uh, Google has let them all uh, kind of gotten off easy. We're on our way, but we're not going to get back. Oh, I'm dead. Um, oh. oh, they're not going to take it out. Yeah, you should probably just back up. Um, and uh, they really pinned it on that Google spent about $24 million uh, on lobbying uh, during that 19-month span. So, um, I, I, of course, that brings up the other question about lobbying. Is it good? Is it bad? And all that kind of stuff, which is maybe a debate for another day. But it's interesting nonetheless.
Mm -hmm. It definitely is. Um, interesting. Since Microsoft, yeah, they did get the antitrust against them, and if you ask me, they had like less of an impact than Google has right now because mm -hmm. Google does own. It's unbelievable how much stuff they actually own. Mm -hmm. They were talking about uh, they have this giant solar farm Google owns because they've been um, interested in alternative energy sources, and they actually invest a lot of money in these giant solar uh -huh. farms. Uh -oh. Uh oh, you see that juke? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go top again. All right, well we're about to kill Blitz Crank, so. Okay, you go for it. You just stall him out. Nice. You guys are. You guys are doing it. All right, Timo got a double kill. Little Timo there, coming in with the little blow dart. Timo. Oh, I know. It always, it always gets me that he kills everyone with his little blow dart gun. <laughs> it's not even like a giant sword or like some like crossbow of like giantness it's a little blow dart gun yeah that's pretty cute he's a little a little fuzzball there a little teemo all right uh they've got two dead still and yeah okay well i'm pushing this lane so i am not gonna be with you guys so just if you stall them out that's the main thing all right uh well our team's over committing and not over commit and die on me bro Don't worry, I escaped. Nice. As long as you're getting big and they're not getting big. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm too big. I'm not that good at farming. Ari has 240 creep kills. I have 96. Oh, that's not Jeez. good. <laughs> but I've been killing people. I, I feel gonna, like I'm doing better than I am. I'm going to bail on this lane. Everyone's coming. <laughs> Got out there just in time. Do I want a last whisper? Or do I want a phantom dancer? I think I want a phantom dancer. I'm gonna dance with the phantoms, Josh. Dance with the phantoms. <clears throat> so I guess that's good news for Google. It does make you wonder, though, a little bit. I mean, do you think that there is some, I don't want to say foul play, but some potential of uh, the American government showing that uh, a little bit of favoritism towards Google because they actually do have so much power? And before you answer, I did see something uh, someone posted that really it's just because of risk management when it comes to litigation. They said basically, for the FTC to force Google to do something, they'd have to go through very, very long and drawn out uh, litigation because, of course, Google has the resources to fight it. Um, and it would have been very expensive. So if they went through all of that and then it c turns out in court or, lit or through litigation, I should say, that uh, the FTC was not right and Google doesn't have to change anything, then um, that's a lot of wasted taxpayer money that a lot of people will be very unhappy about. Uh, they're all missing, by the way. Uh, oh, shit. So they said it's yeah. it, it's much more just based on risk management and not trying to waste a lot of money for a case they weren't sure that they could win, more so than trying to show Google clear favoritism over a competitor, i.e. Microsoft. Uh, what do you think? Hold on, I am killing this person oh, right I'm now. On my way. Give it to him. Show him the biscuits. Bring oh, him to justice, Josh. Shit. He's yeah. dead. Yeah. Oh, Blitzcrank, you almost hooked me. I'm coming, coming that way now. They're split. They're split. I don't want to, uh, Garen's nasty. Uh, he's silenced. He's, yeah, he's pretty nasty. Everyone's, everyone's doing stuff. I'm gonna punch, I'm gonna punch someone. Oh god, I, I just got kicked in the face. Oh shit, I just got killed. Get out of there. You're dead. I'm dead. Yeah, that's no good. Oh no. Ari? Don't run a straight line! Ah, oh, come on, Ari. Oh, shit, no. Not good. At All we have is Timo and Joe. They're not going to be able to push, though. Probably not, but... T dude, Timo went AP. He's got a Rabadon's death cap. Oh, shit. Timo never goes AP. I know, that's what I'm saying. What kind of a build is that? I guess it makes the poison do a shit ton of damage, but... And the mushrooms. Shit, what am I gonna get? I need to get something. I need to buy something. Right, I'll be up in five. I don't think they're gonna be able to get this inhibitor. Not gonna be able to do anything. Oh, what's the null stone in this game? You remember? Um, I can picture. It looks like a little metal cross. What is it? Um, oh, banshee, banshee something. Yeah. But yeah, they're about to get this inhibitor. Oh shit! I'm coming. Oh no! Go 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 go! Oh god! I may have overcommitted. God, this is not good. I should have gotten a blood. Oh booster. my god. This is bad. This is. It's not good. Well, Ari's up now. Alright, they're not gonna pressure. 
This game just got real. Mm-hmm. Banshee's Veil, that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, I started working on it. Um... Since I think I need a tank, basically. Unfortunately, I got a Black Cleaver as my first item. <laughs> oh is... shit, look, they're sneaking it. Oh no, shit, they, it looks like they uh, killed uh, it. That's, that's a little They killed it already. Uh, that one's not bad. Uh, they can have Dragini. Oh god, I'm back Yeah, up. get out of there. I'm scared. I don't have any of my specials. So, uh, I, I, we, we got sidetracked, but what do you think about that whole Google thing? Is it more of just risk management with litigation, or do you think there's a little, uh, you know, a little American Google favoritism happening? Uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to tell. I mean, there is totally a potential for Google to abuse their system in a huge way. Um, as far as thinking they can win it or not, with uh, all the resources they have, uh, it's kind of a toss-up. They would definitely have a chance. Uh, I'm not sure if they would it for sure. All right, Mr. Vanilla Ice Cream. And, and since I'm not really, I don't really know the full like antitrust laws. Well, there are a lot of them. It's quite complicated. If you want to check it out, though, you should watch that movie that I told you about called Antitrust with Teddy, the amazing programmer, and uh, Milo. You know? Oh, we're killing this guy. I'm on my way. Oh God, Garen's coming too. Yo, their whole team's trying to converge. I took the long path around so I wouldn't get picked. I'm coming in the jungle. Uh oh, here comes Garen. Well, as long as we can kill these guys while they're still... Oh no. Oh no. Don't worry, Timo's farming. Oh my god. Timo's farming mid. Man. What is Timo doing? <laughs> we got this. Oh my god. Timo, what are you doing to me, buddy? Uh, this, like, divide thing almost worked until. I don't know. They're tanks. We try to focus on their tanks, and basically they're too beefy right now. They're all beefy. They're all beef sticks. Yeah, dude. This could be bad. I'm up in 20. And we didn't have Teemo, and for some reason, I don't know, you gotta, against tanks, you gotta go the magic damage with Teemo. I guess that's Cause true. Because y'all naturally have lower magic, like, resistance. Yeah. And what is oh, this? Jenna, what, is, what are you doing? What are you doing? You better be able to blow everyone away. I don't better know happen really can. soon. Wow. I'm surprised she lived. Shit, maybe Teemo Please finish these guys. Teemo! Teemo, get in there, buddy! Teemo, they're all... They're all weak. Oh shit, everyone's there. Oh god, dude, they just, dude, they're so much stronger than me. They just killed me so fast. I, th I think this may be a loss. I didn't play that well. They're just too tanky. Oh um, I think I got him. Alright, he died. I killed him. There's a lot of people dead right now. Mundo may be next. Every time we play against the Dr. Mundo, I just think to myself, like, damn it, I really want to play Dr. Mundo. Yeah, dude, he gets so beefy. He's so So big. much health. Yeah, he regenerates so fast. Oh my god. People, like, like going in straight lines, and it's not good in this yeah. game. Yeah, they finished him at least. Oh, oh, Ari. They don't... Yeah. Look at that. Almost an ace. At least the inhibitors will respawn if we don't lose all of them. Holy shit. That's what happens when you don't push your lanes. Everything gets run over. Everything gets run over, Josh. Alright, I got a Bloodthirster, but I'm kind of... I'm just too squishy, man. They kill me way too fast. I need yeah, to you gotta next. stay in the back and then watch when that lady jumps on you and does stuff. Just blink right away. I keep thinking I have a lot of lifesteal, but I really don't. Mm-hmm. It's pretty nasty. People can, like, just get on you and do a ton of damage really fast. Yeah, it's true. Wow, Teemo's poison does do a lot of damage. I see the merit. So, Josh, what do we have next on our list? Let's go ahead and talk about this New Delhi gang rape thing. Um, it's been in the news for a long time. I think it, the the actual raping occurred like December fourteenth. This is the date that comes to mind. It was a while ago. Um, like, there's Mundo's body. You bastard. Um, 
So it happened quite a while ago, but it incited kind of a movement in India. Uh, the, the ordeal was really pretty brutal. It was like a girl was on, on a bus with her boyfriend, fiancé, something or other, or her plus one, um, and these five kind of drunken gang types uh, threw, they, they decked him a couple times, threw him off the moving bus, and then raped her for like... An, an hour or something, some absurd amount of time. Um, and oh god, they're doing they're doing the they're doing the thing. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Did they do it? I I can't tell. I guess got thought it's, it's over. I'm gonna try to push. Uh no, they don't. Have, oh wait, yeah, they do have the buff. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Don't stop me. You go, dude. Go all in. Um, so, and anyway, that, that was kind of the slow and skinny of it, uh, and the big problem is India has some pretty archaic laws when it comes to rape and, and women. It's still a fairly uh, sexist society, at least on paper, um, and, and there's some pretty big problems with that, and there's a lot of young people over there. This girl was also, um, she, she was either almost a doctor, she had like six years of college under her belt, so she's uh, obviously a very well-educated, valuable mind in our day of need for, uh, you know, educated individuals. Mm -hmm. So it's it's pretty it's pretty wild. And what I don't really understand, that the area that hasn't been clear for me is, how does this happen on a moving bus? Like, aren't there other people on the bus that are just like, hey, Mr. Bus Driver, can you just go straight to the police station? Because this girl's getting killed back here. Um, I, I don't really know how that was not something that happened. I mean literally on a moving bus from what I understand mm hmm okay uh, before you do that Blitzcrack TP back I'm TP in home right. we may be able to hold them off I killed the inhibitor okay good I, I think we might be able to here they're all oh, shit no they, they woke up they're pushing the towers oh no oh no maybe you should have stayed pushing uh, Blitzcrack was there. There's no way I was killing Blitzcrack. Uh, oh my god, they just blew me up. Yeah, they got way too much bullshit. Oh my god, they blew me up too. Oh, It was a close one. It was. They were so beefy though, man. They are so tanky. Yeah, we really needed a tank. Yeah, that was... I didn't realize we didn't have a tank or else I would have gone someone else. <sighs> that was rough sauce. Oh well. So, alright, you were about to explain to me how this could have happened on a moving bus. Oh, I, I actually did not read much about this topic, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. I did read that it sparked riots and everything. I have a little side thing, but I do not know the details of mm -hmm. this particular in incident. Yeah, well, it definitely did. Uh, like I said, a lot of people have been protesting, and they're demanding something be done. And the Indian government has sort of tried to respond. They're very... Um, very eager to please, but unfortunately it's not an, an easy thing to solve when you have, when sexism is kind of deeply rooted uh, into their culture and still written in their laws, it's it's almost a cultural thing, and trying to change that is not something that you can really do overnight, it'll probably take a generation or two before that, that stuff really changes. Um, and they were talking about having some sort of a, like a, a rapist database that keeps track of people and, and all this kind of stuff, and, and that was their first big plan, and it seemed about on par uh, with the plan that the NRA had for gun control after the uh, Sandy Bridge, or the Sandy Hook uh, thing. In terms yeah, of, it's just ridiculous. It's definitely a big cultural issue in Asia, because um, it's still an issue in like countries like Japan and Korea. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, where women are, yeah, it's very sexist. Like, I know in, I think it's Korea, it's still very shunned if you have a child and you're not married. Um, you can get outcasted, apparently. And there's still, like, a hierarchy and everything of, uh, and the whole language, even. It's rooted in the language, Korean, where there are, like, six different ways, I think, to say something. It's all based on seniority. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it's just it's just not like America at all. Yeah, uh, it, it really isn't. Uh, it, it's just a little bit scary. Uh, so what they ended up doing, the girl uh, was rushed to Singapore, I believe it was the hospital she was at, and I think she just recently died. Uh, I'm looking at pictures of John Boehner. He's just ridiculous, man. He is orange. <laughs> um, I have seen those pictures. I have seen those. It's just, just and no, I do agree that he is orange. <laughs> um so it, it's just one of those things. It, it's important to note, but um, 
I don't know. What are you going to do? There isn't really... A, it's sort of like the gun... It's pretty comparable to the gun problem in America. It's a problem. It's sort of deeply rooted in the culture. How do you fix it? There's not really an easy way to legislate a, a clear fix. So... Um, mm -hmm. And to me, these yeah. issues always are... It's kind of interesting how the country deals with it. Mm -hmm. Because the country is all up in arms. But like when stuff happens in like America, they're like... Um, like shootings and everything, it's more localized and it's not like done on a big grand scale. And that's part of the part of the reason because the country is so big. Mm -hmm. But like in London, um, I think a, a cop shot a kid and it sparked like three days of riots where they just like trashed London, I'm pretty sure, or wherever this occurred. They basically just went on a riot for three days and they just started like burning stuff. And, mm -hmm. and like you never see that in America. Um, where people go crazy like that, unless it's a sports game. I was just going to say, like, unless their unless home the team loses. Unless the Lakers lose uh, a championship, um, no one's like flipping cars and lighting stores on fire. Uh, priorities, man. Priorities. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about I remember talking to someone in, about rioting once, and he was just like, I mean, I don't really care. If, you, if, if you're stupid enough to just run out and fuck up your own neighborhood, then <laughs> okay, by all means, man. <laughs> like... I, I don't know. I never really understood the yeah the sporting riots in particular. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know Omni was talking about that because they're going to raise tuition like from like two thousand dollars to three thousand dollars in Canada. And uh, remember, friend Omni, you could hear outside when we were playing Diablo outside. You could hear the people rioting mm -hmm. through his mic, and he's wow. like, "I'm happy they're doing it because it means I don't have to do it." <laughs> <laughs> that's such a oh god that's such a good way to to uh, explain omni's persona um <laughs> an incredible guy yeah yeah you're right um it is why uh, the same thing um you know my friend jason was who was in france for a while he's where he's talking about world stuff and he mentioned uh that people were riding in france because they were trying to uh um increase the tax from they're trying to uh, increase the top tier tax on rich people uh, and it, so something absurd it sounded absurdly high but it was like a three percent increase from like 68 percent to like 70 percent and like it's just like oh god and uh, they're they also i know in france they, they were really sensitive to they wanted to raise the retirement age from like 55 to 60 and dude there were riots non-stop people were really upset about that they want yeah. their health care and they want it now yeah, and we don't really have riots on that scale. It's more of uh, nobody social. in America cares. It's more social media and like little mini things. I mean, there's stuff always outside the White House. I'm sure you'll see protesters mm -hmm. protesting something or other, but like there's no really giant movements, at least not recent. And yeah, not recently that come to mind. Except uh, Occupy Wall Street. That was a big one. Oh, that was pretty big. Yeah, it wasn't a riot, but it was even still, though that uh, yeah. It was pretty stupid, though. I, I don't get the whole Occupy. I saw some Occupiers. The, the thing I don't get about Occupy Wall Street was, all right, I can understand if you're actually there occupying Wall Street, you know, the, the real one in New York. Like, that's that's something, you know, that's a big high traffic area, whatever. But, like, I remember going to PAX East last year in um, in Boston. Oh, no, 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 no. This was the MLG Finals uh, in Providence. And we go up there, and there's, like, a public park in the middle of Providence, you know, and there's just people camping out. We walked by, I was like, what the fuck is this and and i was like oh yeah those are the you know they're they're occupying I'm like mm -hmm. occupying what like wall street i'm like we're in providence they're like yeah i know well you know you just gotta occupy wherever you are and i was just like well what the fuck is that good okay like you guys are just camping out in the middle of rhode island like what does that have to do with anything and when you walk by no one's doing anything it's not like they have picket signs it's not like they're cheering and yelling or throwing tomatoes at people they're just all sitting there looking like, God damn it, I wish I could take a shower right now. Camping really sucks. Yeah, to me, that it had a potential to be a really good movement because of how many people, how many people were involved. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it was, they wanted to be leaderless, I think that hurt them incredibly. I think you need to have some kind of organized way oh, of yeah. doing stuff. And they really were against that. And so you just had like... Make your list of demands, and they had like a list of like a thousand demands. It's like everybody I has mean, a like, voice. <laughs> I mean, come on, what are you supposed to do with that? These are our demands. <laughs> yeah, um, we require that's... ten gallons of liquid cheese. I'm not sure that's how you negotiate. A giant baby bottle. A giant Two one. Ferraris. <laughs> like, 
No, and I, I remember I saw an interview, I don't know, with Jay Leno or something, and Michael Moore was on, you know, he's all, like, bleeding heart, extra liberal. And somebody asked him, like, well, so what do you think about this leaderless thing? Like, the government wants to communicate with him, and there's not even anybody to talk to. And he's like, I think it's great, I think it's amazing. I was just like, what do you mean it's amazing? It's amazing that there's all these dipshits making a big mob scene in front of Wall Street that... Like they don't, half of them don't even know what they're protesting. They're they're upset that there's money somewhere that they don't have. They think, you know, I I don't know. I had problems with the whole Occupy thing. I, I agree with you. I don't think the leaderless thing helped the movement very much. So there comes a point where you have to. The leaderless is cool for a while, but there comes a point where you need somebody just to be the face of your group to clearly mm-hmm. communicate what you want. If you don't have I that, have, then, yeah, have you, like prioritized demands and everything, and yeah. have like, it's like their calls is like everything. It's mm-hmm. like. I don't know how you can make that successful. But yeah, I don't know. I agree it's definitely an issue. They definitely had some things. They like the original movement and everything of, against Wall Street because Wall basically everything's recovered as far as economy, as far as like businesses. <laughs> if you look at the stock market, That's true. I mean, if you look at like the stocks have recovered, the big businesses have re like they're the same as they were before the crash. Even small businesses, the Russell 2000, which is an index of 2,000 small businesses, is at all-time highs um, already. And the S&P 500, which is the 500 biggest businesses, are is pretty close to it. So, like, business has recovered, but the employment rate is still at 7.8, I think. Yeah, something close to that. It might be down to 7.7. 7, but... So, like, it really, like, when you look at, basically all the numbers basically the u.s has recovered just people haven't recovered businesses have people haven't all right well um <laughs> I, I i don't know man that, that that's that's a good rant every week we end on a rant josh and that's perfect fuck occupy i uh, know I, I mean it's it's i'm not quite that it, 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 it just seems stupid to me. Yeah, it, it has, has potential, potential. Yeah. but then yeah after it got drawn out for like a year and then they still had no leader for like a year i thought it had potential until i saw the occupy providence and i mean they just that group of occupiers that just looked like a bunch of homeless people camping out in the park like that's what it, that's what it turned into basically I, yeah i mean it, it was just like it was like what this isn't even you know, I mean, I've seen protesters in the town that I live in. There, there, there's sometimes those peace protesters. They stand on the corner in front of that old bank building and they hold up signs that say like, "Stop the war" and whatever. I don't know, man. They just—I've held signs with them before. They're pretty nice. They'll at least, at least they're smart. At least they—they they know what they want. And if you go over and be like, "Hey, yeah, world peace is stupid. I like bombs," they'll talk to you and be like, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Bombs are stupid. I don't know. I. I I don't know what they'd say if you were that crazy, but <laughs> one time when I was protesting with them, this crazy guy came out of the hotel. This is a good story. We'll end on this story. This crazy war veteran, he said he was like a Vietnam vet. And he was like older, you know, it's like one of those guys. He looked like Bobby Fischer right before he died. You know, he's got the big pot belly. He's got that hairdo with bald on the top and kind of shaved on his eyes, the big scraggly beard. He's missing his top four front teeth, you know, and he comes down and he's just, he just starts, I was just like, are you, are you, are you, did you think terrorists? And he's like, he's not even saying words. He's like so mad that people were protesting for peace that he can't even get words out. And he's just screaming. And this lady comes over and he's yelling at us, you know, we're in like eighth grade. Uh, and the, this lady comes over and she's like, you know, this older lady. And she's, and the guy keeps telling her, she's like, you're not educated. She's like, sir, sir, I have a PhD in psychology and a doctorate in sociology. Uh, you know, she's just like, you can say many things, but you just can't make a case that I'm not educated. And the guy just flipped his leg. He was just like, well, you talk to me after you've done five tours in Vietnam. It's like, all right, I, I guess we're never going to talk about it again, man, because <laughs> Vietnam's over, dude. Like, I, I still, to this day, don't know what he was mad about. Because those protesters really aren't annoying. They literally just stand there. They don't even yell. They stand on the corner with nice signs that just really say, like, peace or... Peace, you know, like, no fighting. So no I, fighting. I just, it's hard to be mad at those people because all they want is for everybody to get along, man. They're like the Quakers. How do you even get mad at a Quaker? They're never going to get mad back. They're never going to hit you back. So, like, what's the point of even fighting with them? They're just going to stand there. It's like you might as well just pick on a tree or a plant or a other inanimate object. Yep. Crazy war vets, man. Um, woo! All right, on that note, guys... 
Thank you so much for watching another installation of News Report with Zyorian Hyper. Make sure you get it, Josh, on Twitter, at JD Hyper. That's at JD Hyper on Twitter. He be blogging, he be tweeting. If you're looking to invest in, uh, in the stock market, Josh has all of your, your stock twits coming at you. Right, Josh? Of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, you can find the video catalog and uh, all of the other great archived content at www.zyori.tv. Until next week, guys, be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other. We'll see you on another cast.